Hi friends, welcome back. Today I have another video for you guys in my minimalism series. If you've been following along, I've been doing several videos on minimalism and decluttering and just simplifying my life. If you're new here, first of all, I would love if you could subscribe to this little community of people that I have here on YouTube. But also, if you're not caught up on my minimalism videos, I will have them all linked in the description box below as well as in the bar up here. I'll have the whole series linked. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about the things that I've been decluttering in my home this month. So if you've been following along, especially on my Instagram, I've been talking a ton about what I've been decluttering and what I've been selling on Facebook Marketplace. And I've been pretty aggressively getting rid of things lately. I was in kind of a rut for a few months this summer. I am definitely by no means a true like hardcore minimalist. I would consider myself an aspiring minimalist. And I'm really actively just working towards getting my house to a place where it doesn't feel cluttered and where I feel like everything in it is something that I either love or is something that's super useful. So for the past few months, I kind of felt like I was in a bit of a rut with decluttering. I just felt like I had hit a wall, which I feel like is a super natural thing to happen when you've been decluttering for so long. You've kind of gone through everything and you get to the end and you're like, I've gone through every room. I still don't feel like it's where I want it to be and then you almost have to start over, at least that was my personal experience. So I'll share with you guys the things that I either have already decluttered this month or things that I am planning on going through and purging and getting rid of this month. The first thing is decor that I don't love. So I've definitely gone through my decor a few times. I had a bin in the basement of extra decor that we didn't really have room for and I got rid of most of that months ago because I was like, I'm not even using it, I don't really like this stuff. But now there's several things that I either have on my walls or did have on my walls or are on a shelf that have just kind of been there because I kind of like them or I needed something for that spot but I didn't really love that item. So I've been trying to be really honest with myself about the things that are hanging on my walls or sitting on a shelf that I don't actually really love. So there's definitely still a few knickknacks around my house that I'm going to be decluttering later this month and I know that that will make my house feel so much less cluttered. The second thing is extra blankets and bedding. So I recently did a video about my bedroom refresh and part of that was that I got new bedding for my bedroom because I hated the bedding that we had before. I don't know why, I just like really didn't like it. It always bothered me so I finally just bit the bullet and I bought some new bedding. But that means that I do not need to keep the old bedding. I don't need it. I don't have use for it. I already have a second set of bedding in my guest room so I will be just getting rid of the old bedding. There's a couple things that I think might be worth selling even if it's just for like 10 to 20 dollars because I did have a nice quilt on the bed. I just didn't really like it anymore. And then the rest of my extra bedding that I don't need is going to be donated. The next thing is going to come as a surprise for you guys and that is plants. So I'm not going to be getting rid of my plant collection. I'm still going to keep tons and tons of plants. Obviously, if you guys know me, you know that that's something that I really love. But I'm feeling like I have some plants that I don't really love, some plants that have kind of died over the years that I just don't really like anymore. And I'm probably just going to finally get rid of those. And then I have some little like baby propagated plants that I grew from like a bigger plant and I don't need like five aloe plants. So I'm either going to be selling a few of those that I feel like are worth selling. Otherwise I will be giving away some extra plants to some friends because I just don't need a million extra duplicate plants. The next thing is clothing and I've gone through my clothing lots of times. I feel like my closet is at a pretty good spot where I truly love all of the things in my closet. But my husband was inspired to go through his clothing so I thought that that was a good opportunity to go through mine. And then it was also the transition between summer and fall and I had some fall winter clothes put away. So I pulled those out and I took that opportunity to go through things. There was only like 10 items because most of my wardrobe is year round because we don't have super hot summers. I do wear like pants and sweaters and stuff throughout the summer. And I know that there's some minimalist or organizing professionals who don't recommend putting things away. I actually really like putting seasonal things away. I like kind of the excitement that comes when you bring stuff back out and it's almost like you have new clothes. And so when I was taking things out, there was some things that I was really excited to see. And then there's other things that I was like, oh, I actually forgot about that. And those things I basically just got rid of because if I had forgotten about it and if I wasn't excited to see it after it being away for five or six months, then I don't really need it in my closet. And then there was also a few summer items that I think in the spring I was like, I don't think that I want this, but I'm not ready to get rid of it yet. And I just kept them away in a box. So I found those and I never missed them all summer. 
So I decided to just get rid of those extra summer clothes because I'm not gonna wear them. The next item is pens, and I feel like I have to go through my pens all the time. I think I'm just a pen stealer. Um, but we have like, but for some reason we have like 100 pens in our house. So my plan at some point this week is to go through all of our pens and get rid of the ones that don't work. And then if there's still a ton left, either give them away somewhere or throw out extra pens because I don't need 100 pens. Okay, the next thing that I am decluttering or getting rid of this month is some extra shelves. I don't think I have a picture of them, but we had these two little shelves. They were actually built as like CD racks or shelves. They were like little wooden shelves and they've been empty for quite a few months because we emptied them the last time we purged our office, but I just wasn't really ready to part with them at that point because I do like these shelves, but I realized that I'm never gonna need them. I'm never gonna have enough stuff to put on them. And they were super perfect in our last apartment, but in this house, we just don't need them. So I listed those on Facebook Marketplace and someone purchased them and picked them up within a few hours. So that was awesome. And I'm happy to have that extra space back. And then the next thing is luggage and backpacks. For some reason, this is another thing that we tend to accumulate. I had this one suitcase that I've had since I was a little kid. I actually figure skated as a little kid and as competitive figure skaters, everyone had like a suitcase that they carried around, like wheeled around. It was the suitcase that I've been using since then. It was a really, really nice suitcase. It was really good quality. It was still in excellent shape, except the handle that like went up and down was super finicky. So there's been a couple times that I've been in the airport traveling and I couldn't get the handle up and then I just get really frustrated because I would have to bend over or I would have to carry the suitcase and it was just kind of a nightmare. So I actually got rid of it. I sold it to someone, but I told them all about that problem and I just said, if you have someone who is maybe handy or something, they might be able to fix it for you. It just wasn't for me anymore. And then we also had like 20 backpacks and it is kind of hard for me to get rid of backpacks because I have like a camera bag, I have a hiking bag. And then my husband has a couple backpacks. Like for some reason, we're just like backpack people. I did get rid of, I think two different backpacks that were kind of duplicates that I wasn't really using anymore. So I think that all the backpacks that I kept are ones that I actually use all the time, otherwise, I'll be getting rid of more in the future, but we got rid of a couple backpacks and a couple suitcases that we just don't really need. So those are seven things that I've decluttered in my home in the last month. I definitely find that I have to go through things. I have to go through rooms or closets over and over again because I might not be ready to get rid of something the first time I kind of see it, but if I go back to it a month later or six months later, I might be ready at that point. So. I don't like to force myself to get rid of things before I'm ready because that like kind of stresses me out and I don't think that I'm like a hoarder or anything but I just don't see the point in pushing myself to get rid of things faster than I'm ready to. If you like this video I would love to do videos like this definitely not every month but maybe every few months I can definitely update you guys on the things that I've been decluttering in my house so if that's something that you'd be interested in either leave me a comment below saying so or just hit the thumbs up button to tell me that you like this video. And if you're new here, I would love if you could subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in a few days in my next video.